Hey guys, Media World, it's Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. Uh, we'll look at some of the new trends and new data for this afternoon. Uh, and I'm looking at things and I'm seeing some pretty big bullet points. The atmospheric river is coming 310 to 312. It's going to be moderate and intensity, maybe even strong. Could be strong. Seen some evidence for that. Uh, probably starts late 39 in the Sierra. And then just 310 looks like an, a major day for the Sierra. I mean, we could have thunder snow. We could have unbelievable wind with uh, 30, 40 inches of snow in a 24-hour period on 310 for the Sierra. Overall, just from the atmospheric river event, we may have 50 to 80 inches of snow just from that. Um, and then looking at the northeast now, spotting the possibility of a coastal storm, 314, 315, Kind of a long shot, it's still way out there, but I just wanted to mention that it is a possibility. All right, let me just show you uh, what I'm seeing here. So Kirkwood had 19 inches in the last 24 hours, 34 and 48 hours, seven day totals are incredible, uh, 560 for the season. A Little bit of a break in the action right now. Snow returns to the Sierra this afternoon, tonight, and tomorrow morning. Um, there are some other light shots of snow, but then the, the granddaddy comes in you know, late 3.9 through probably 3.12 as it looks right now. Here's the setup on visible satellite. See the spin of the next low dropping in. Another one right here, potentially another one behind it. A um, little something going on in here. So you've got two branches of the jet. Very active. Very active. So both are contributing. And what's going to happen is this low will sink even further to the south and start to affect the Sierra this afternoon, tonight, into tomorrow morning. And with the southern branch there, it really won't take that much uh, reorganization to then set up this atmospheric river because all you have to do is bend the jet in the right uh, trajectory, and that's exactly what's going to happen. That happens late 3-9. In fact, this is, well, before we get to the future radar and satellite, I want to show you the, uh, the jet. So this is 311, and right in the middle of the, uh, of the atmospheric river, you can see it. Uh, that southwest to west oriented you know, type jet stream that's blowing straight from the west, right directly into the east, right into the Sierra at uh, that right angle, and that's going to cause a lot of lifting. And that would transport moisture into the interior Rockies as well, and that's support from both branches of the jet. All right, now let me go back here and show you how this plays out in time. Forecast radar and satellite. There's Tuesday 3-7. And there's 3.8. Now here we go. There's the morning of 3.9. Here comes the, here it comes. You see that push of moisture right there? 3.9, 3.10, just nailing the Sierra. Um, 3.11, another little surge on 3.11. And then you'll notice a lot of this moisture gets blown into the interior. Utah, the Tetons, and parts of Colorado, parts of Idaho at times as well. But the direct hit is going to be right on the Sierra. Now I did write about this this morning on chrystomer.com. Take a look at it. Um, atmospheric river and big totals through 315. Uh, talked about the forecast pattern. That was the jet from this morning. I went into the, the river event itself and looked at the integrated vapor transport. And you can see it's definitely moderate and moderate intensity and maybe even strong. That's a possibility. So take a look at that. The timing is on there now. It broke out Palisades Tahoe. You can see how heavy it's going to be. Look how big 310 is going to be. 30 inches plus just on that 24-hour period. Alta. Now, I will say with Alta, the numbers this afternoon have gone down. They're not as big as what they look like this morning. There are my numbers, my forecast totals from this morning. Let me show you what I'm thinking this afternoon. All right, the rest of today through the 8th. Um, so some new snow coming into the Sierra this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow. Um, and also on 3.7, 3.8, so you'll get roughly 12, 15 inches across Tahoe New, new Snow. Uh, very light elsewhere, maybe another 8 or 9 across the Wasatch, which will be fantastic. Here's period 2. So 3.9 through 3.15, uh, look at the Sierra, 45 to 90 inches of snow. Absolutely incredible. And again, a lot of that falls on 3.10. Uh, another one to two feet for the Wasatch, a couple of feet. I love the way the Tetons are looking with the overrun. Sun Valley looks good. Uh, Brundage, Bachelor, um, you're all going to be in fine shape. And in Colorado, we'll see how much overrun we get from this, but it looks like about a one to two footer uh, is probably on the way for that. 
couple specialty maps. Central to Northern Mountains of Colorado, grand totals. Rest of today through 315. Anywhere from 6 to 14 across I-70 and a bit more over the Northern Mountains. Um, I'll take you into the Sierra. And again, these will be grand totals. Uh, rest of today through the 15th. 65 to 95 inches, so basically almost 100 inches of new snow coming to Mammoth over the next nine days. 85 to uh, parts of Tahoe over the next nine days. This is absolutely incredible. When you think of what we've seen over the last 10 to 15 days, let's just say we've seen 150 inches over the last 10 to 15 days. Now we're going to potentially add another 80 to 100 to that total. Um, that's, ab that's like two to 300 inches of snow. You know, in some in some cases, 200 inches in in 20 to 25 days. I mean, that's incredible snow. One last snow uh, chart here for the Wasatch. The numbers this morning were a lot bigger. They were pushing 40 inches. Now this afternoon they've dropped down um, to about two feet, two to three feet across Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons. And one last stop. Like I mentioned, now these numbers have gone up since this morning's update because of the possibility of a coastal storm, 314, 315. Again, long way out, just a possibility. We'll watch it, but um, those are the numbers right now. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.